Xiaomi released a flurry of new gadgets together with some new smartphones, the Mi 11 Ultra, the Mi 11 Lite, which I have here on my hand. So are you excited for me to open this? Join me. Let's unbox it. So hi guys, it's me, Mitch002 of Xiaomi Review and welcome back to my channel. So you've just witnessed the unboxing of yet another flagship level phone in the Mi 11 Lite 4G. So this phone is probably one of the lightest and the thinnest phone that I've ever handled since back back then. It is just 6.8mm thick, which is pretty razor thin, and just 157 grams really really light on the pocket now this phone is equipped with the snapdragon 732g which is really really popular chipset present in the poco x3 and some other popular phones from xiaomi this phone only has two variants either go for the 664 gig of storage or the 628 gigs of storage both of them are ufs 2.2 ready and probably one of the best things to look on this phone is the colors it has the boba black peach pink and of course, here in my hands, the bubblegum blue, which is your favorite. I think this is mine. Now, checking some scores over at Antutu, it gave me a score of 286,000, which is very, very norm, which is very, very average for this chipset. Checking i2, 101,000 points, 2,692 on Slingshot Extreme. It even gathered a good score on Geekbench, 566 on single core and 1,778 on multi-core. Checking DRM info, approved. It has a level one wideband security, which means you can watch all the HD you want here on this phone. Now this phone comes with a 6.55 inch AMOLED display, 1080p FHD+, together with a 90 hertz of screen refresh rate, 240 touch sampling rate, together with a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection, which is something that you want on this smartphone. Now watching some videos here, I can see that the AMOLED display is really nice. The colors are vibrant, I can really say, except that I really don't appreciate that uh, punch hole on the upper left of my screen, which is a little bit big as compared to the other flagships. 
but nevertheless i can say the viewing angle is nice the display is nice and it's almost bezel-less that's what's important on this phone now playing call of duty on this phone i can set it to high settings and the display is really nice uh, the gameplay is really really good and though there are still some hiccups on this phone i cannot say that it's free from frame drops but it can really really perform together with the dual stereo sounds i can say playing on this phone is really really nice This phone comes with a 64MP main camera. It has an aperture of 1.97 together with an 8MP ultra wide lens and a 5MP tele macro lens. Together up front, it has a 16MP front selfie shooter. Now, how about let's take some photos outdoors? Well, I can say the photos outdoors are impressive given that this is something of a flagship level. Pictures are nice, punchy, and I expect nothing less from this phone. Taking a quick look at some selfie shots. Taking some selfie shots on this phone is really nice. Outdoors are great, indoors is Still okay, but probably I can say that this is not the best selfie camera I've seen on flagship level phones. Now let's try to see some videos on this phone. I can see the videos on this phone. It has an image stabilization, but I can say that the image is a little bit jerky. Still a little bit jerky. It is not really that perfect image stabilization on this phone, but the images are good. Let's try some vlogging. Now guys, I'm holding the Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite, and this is how it looks like when you're vlogging on top of the flyover. Check it out. Bad. Now I can say that vlogging on this phone is really nice. It's stable and I can say the video is really, really clear. Now this phone packs a 4,250 mAh of battery and it can charge up to 33 watts of charging speed. And well, I can say that charging on this phone is really, really fast. I did drain the battery of this phone down to 20% and charge it back up to 100 and it just took me an hour and one minute. Pretty impressive. Now this phone comes also with a Bluetooth 5.1 and together with a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is rounded in shape. And it even has a dual recording microphone which is something that you would really love if you are using this for vlogging. Now guys, I really like the design of this phone. Really light, really thin. And of course, the colorway is really, really something that I love. Probably the downside on this one is it took away the 3.5 mm audio jack as well as the battery is quite small. Other than that, I really love this phone. So what do you think about this phone? Do you love it? Comment on the comment section below so I'll know what feature on this phone you love the most. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here from my channel. So I'll see you on the next one.